Hey, what's up guys? Joe Heller, sales manager over here at Room Real Estate. So quick video, this is a run through of Real Scout. Now we have an extended version, a little bit more thorough. This one's the quick video. So you're gonna log in and you're gonna get your dashboard. So let's just show you what that might look like. So this is your dashboard. You can see um, you have a kind of overview of the activity. You have your clients, you have a client page, or tab, excuse me, and a search tab. Those are the two main tabs you're gonna use, okay? So we'll start with, let's say client, okay? So we're logging in and you can see Abby here was a Zillow lead. She was added about six months ago and her active alert, she's got one active alert. So what we can do with Zillow is we send out automated alerts, automated properties, right? So you can have a schedule Every property is going to go out on Tuesday or Friday if it just hit the market or whatever. So there's a uh, number of different searches you can set up. But the nice thing is once you set it up once, it's just going to go out automatically. So that's be the beauty versus the MLS. You have to manually send each property out to your client. So anyways, we'll click on Abby. That's usually what happens is you'll get a Zillow lead. And then you'll notice in Zillow, they'll actually create a listing alert already. So this a listing alert is pretty generic. I would recommend after you have a really in-depth conversation with your client about the location, the wants and needs, lot size, things like that, to go ahead and either delete this or edit it, okay? So let's just pretend we, we'll just leave this in place, but most of you guys, I want you to delete it and create a new listing alert. So once you click on your client here, then you're gonna click add a listing alert, okay? Um, the setting up the client is really like the start. So if you don't have any clients in here, you should put a client in here, that's that's the start. So um, we're gonna add a listing alert here. And, and you can see, so MLS listings residential. So you gotta be clicked under MLS listings residential, otherwise no go. Okay, you, you can't choose different um, different MLSs. So this is Barris Bay, up, in, up north. So MLS listings, residential, that's where we need to be. And then you're gonna click start searching. And here we are. So you may wanna send them properties as they go pending, as they go contingent. Um, if you're trying to illustrate a point to your client, like, hey, they're dragging their feet, or they, they really want to know this one area. But most of you guys are going to click active, okay? So we're going to click active. We're going to click single family, townhome, condo, whatever they're looking for. So I'm going to click single family, and you can click multiple, okay? I could click, t well, for this purpose, let's do townhomes too, okay? So we got active in our MLS area, and we haven't collected a, um, I haven't, like, honed in on the search. So what we wanna do next is put a county in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put, let's put Santa Cruz, okay? So Santa Cruz County. Now you could put in a city and further kind of hone in that search, but right now we're gonna keep it broad. Okay, so basically you can see, if you click view results, you can see the results. So it's active, it's a town home, or it's a single family home in our county. And then this is the list, okay? and you can click on these and find out more information. Okay, so what I suggest is we go back in here and we click edit filter. And then what I want you to do is click, see this map right here? Let's dial this in. Let's just get this even tighter, the search. So let's say your client, um, so I click full screen, that blows this up. So let's say your client said, um, that we need to be in certain XYZ geographical location. We need to be by the ocean, um, something like that. So you would click the circle and you drag out and you can see um, you get the coast. Now, if you wanna block that out, cancel it, you hit the trash button and hit clear all. Um, now with that circle tool, you're grabbing in the middle and dragging outwards, okay? The square tools start at one corner and just drag. So anything in this area is gonna be selected. Now, Polygon tool is really slick. Um, let's cancel this out and let's click on this and let's hit the trash button and we're gonna clear out. So the Polygon tool, you're gonna to go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and you can see it just kind of closes the polygon. And now we have all this, and you're going to click at the very end, finish. So we've highlighted everything in the coast. That looks really solid. All right, we like that. And then we're going to minimize. And so you can see we have everything collected. And last step is we're going to click Save to Client. So you're going to always send a copy to yourself. Now, I have a uh, touch screen here, not really giving me what I want to see. Um, but I'll just kind of give you a rundown on the side here. So you can see I have this little box right here. And you want to make sure that you are not blasting them and sending them tons of properties all different times of the day. We don't want to do that to our client. And I'm trying to just stretch this out so you can get a better uh, visual on this. Okay, so there we go. So as you scroll down, you can see there's this, this, this. So I would suggest, you know, maybe twice a week. So Monday and Friday. This one, maybe Saturday. And then when you're done, you see how this listing alerts daily? You can just do hand-picked. You could do monthly. Choose daily. Choose a specific day. And then the last step you're going to do, and you could save it under coastal properties, right? Um, but the last step is hit save. So you can see I've saved that, and you just want to put something in here. So I'll say um, oceanfront properties from Joe Heller, the realtor, right? Okay, glad I took that typing class and high school <laughs> and check it out so you're going to do that and you can add x as something custom and you can send this now so if i click send now it's sending it out now but remember we set up you know friday saturday those are going out if you don't hit send now the next one is going to go out on monday as they say but we'll go ahead and hit send now all right so we just sent some properties over to abby as an exercise so that's really slick but i want you to just dive in real quick into some other stuff so look at this guys so if you click you click this and you can kind of scroll through and you can see what the client is seeing so you can see this is a really robust nice gooey uh software it makes everything look very slick. So that's why we want to send this out. I'm going to send up everyone on automated searches. And then just, just another kind of quick uh, little step here. If you didn't click client first, you can click search first. You can start here. Okay. Or you could start with the client. Okay. So you have a couple different ways. You can add a client alert by hitting that button and add a client there. Or you can click select existing client. So there's a number of ways to navigate this. This is just kind of a brief overview. Um, definitely set up your own um, client to yourself in practice. I would send out a few listing alerts to yourself before you start sending them out to clients live. All right, thanks guys. Real Scout quick tutorial. Peace.